Okay, in this simple tutorial, we'll be taking a flat two-dimensional movie clip, or in this case, a character, and adding some depth to it by applying a shadow in the background. So if I hit Control Enter, you can basically see the two movie clips playing together simultaneously. And one's just had a simple drop shadow effect applied to it. So in this case, I'll head back to the beginning, and it begins with a simple movie clip. In this case, I have a character that's been dragged into the main stage, or in this case, the walking man layer. And in this case, we're going to start a brand new layer and call this one Shadow. And at the moment, it's got nothing in it, but we'll just apply that to our, and move that to our background. And what we'll do is we'll duplicate this movie clip. So we'll click it, copy, and we'll make sure that we've got the second layer selected. So when we paste it, we'll apply it to that particular layer. I'm going to go up to edit and paste in place. Now at the moment we've got two movie clips looking exactly the same overlapped. So in this case we'll turn the walking man layer off. So in this case we're only looking at the shadow layer now and this one is selected. So now we're going to make it look like a, a shadow by sizing it and adding effects. So to begin with we'll head off to the free transform tool and we're going to click on the top anchor and size it down. Now if we hold down ALT and anchors the um, bottom anchor points to the ground so we can squish it down. If you position your mouse to about there, you will be able to click and drag it left and right. But once again, we want to hold down ALT to anchor the points down and size it to the left. So if I turn back on my walking man layer, you can see the two. So in this case now we just want to apply a simple effects to the shadow layer and we can do that by selecting it with our selection tool and over in our filters palette I'll notice I've got a simple blur filter already applied to it but I'll start a new layer or a new filter and we'll call this one drop shadow. So the last thing that we really need to do before we make some minor adjustments is to quite simply click hide object. In this case, it's turned and um, it's basically changed all the details and applied a sort of black mask over the back. So in this case, we can adjust some of the settings. In this case, the angle. We adjust that it meets the other uh, movie clip, the, uh, the character's feet, a little bit nicer. And if we hit Control Enter, we can preview that. And now we've got a nice little drop shadow applied to it. And the good thing about this, anytime you adjust the movie clip, it will alter the drop shadow as well. So thanks for watching.